Hi everyone, following on from my primary foreign key relationship video, um, I wanted to go over referential integrity and foreign key constraints. So if you've not watched the primary foreign key relationship video, watch that first. Um, the link is in the description and I think there's also a link at the end of this video as well. Okay. Um, just to recap, we're going to be using the company database that we used in the previous video. And I'll just quickly go over, recap some of the data. The company database, okay, it's composed of three tables. We have the employees table, the departments table, and the managers table. And the example data group we're going to focus on in this video is the employees table and the managers table. So we have Darren McNulty, who's employee, obviously stored in the employees table. The primary key for him is primary key employee ID number one, that's his unique identifier. In the manager's table, the manager's ID is the primary key. And you can see here that Ray Leonard, um, his primary key is number four. So that number uniquely identifies um, him in the database, okay? Now, to relate this data, so we know that Ray Leonard is down at Nolte's managers, we said in the previous video, we take a copy of the primary key value, which is four in this case, and we place it under the foreign key column in the employees table, in the same row as Dan McNulty. And that tells us that Dan McNulty's manager is Ray Leonard, there's a primary foreign key relationship there. That's what we covered in the previous um, video. Okay, now what we're gonna look at today is that what would happen if you relate, you deleted the value from this table here that was related to a data in another table? Okay, how can we restrict that? Okay, so what we're, what we're going to focus on is referential integrity. So what is referential integrity? It's basically a database concept that ensures that relationships between tables remain consistent. Okay, and we enforce this using foreign, foreign key constraints. And foreign key constraints is just a mechanism that enforces rules in a database to stop related data being deleted or removed. Okay, because we don't want the data and the database to be inconsistent. Okay, so let's um, let's go on with the task at hand here. So we can see there we've got the company database opened. I always like to have my, my tables opened up here along my columns. Okay, just get rid of this uniform server pane there. Um, <clears throat> or dialog box, sorry. Um, so the the two tables we're working on is the employees and the managers. Okay. So again, let's have a quick look. There's Dan McNulty in there. Okay, his manager ID is four. And in the manager's table, we have Ray Leonard, whose manager ID is four. Okay. So let's try and delete Ray Leonard. Okay. It's a confirm box, just saying you're sure you want to delete this. I'm going to say OK, and there it's gone. I'll just click that again. Yep, OK, so Ray Leonard has gone from the database. OK, I'll go back into the employees table. And you can see that Dan McNulty is still there, obviously, and his manager ID is still showing his four. OK, but if we go back into the manager's table, there's an issue there because it, it, the record's been deleted. OK. Now, this could have maybe been done in error, okay? Um, so we want something in a robust system to stop this happening, okay? So first thing we're going to do before we put the constraint on the database, I'm going to add back in the um, real end. So let's just do that. So I'll just use a quick insert statement. Again, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Come back because you can see it. Um, so the, saving you having to watch me type up SQL statements. So it's insert into the manager's table. Under these three columns, the value is four, Ray and Leonard. So that's his manager ID, first name, last name. Okay, I'll quickly click, click go. Let's just go back in now. And Ray Leonard's back in there. So the relationship is, um, is okay there because we've got the consistent data. Okay, there's, there's a relationship between these two primary foreign key values, all right? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually add the constraint. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So I'm going into the, make sure the breadcrumb trail again, just to remind you at the top, company is selected, 
the sequel pane area is opened up. Let me paste in this, open it up. So this is my SQL statement. Um, just get it. It's okay. Right, okay, so it's saying alter table employees. It's going to alter the employees table. We're going to add a constraint, and this is the name of the constraint. It could be anything you want, but I've just called it manager underscore ID underscore refs, just short for references. And this is where it's actually going to enforce the primary foreign key relationship. So it's basically saying the foreign key in the employees table is the manager ID column, which is here, and it references the manager ID, which is the primary key, and the manager's table. If there's a match for these two values, okay, the system will not allow you to delete it. Okay, so let's quickly click go. Okay, it's executed the SQL statement. So I'm going to go back into the company database and I'll go into the manager's table. There's Ray Leonard. I'm going to try and delete him this time. Confirm box again. Okay, I'll click it. And this time I'm getting the, the message coming up. Say so it's hashtag 1451. Cannot delete or update a parent row. A foreign key constraint fails. Okay, so it's restricting me from deleting data that's linked to another table in the database. Okay. And um, again, if I went back into the structure of the employees table, just to show you how you can do this, and you click the relation view, you can actually see where the constraint is that I've added in. You can actually add it through the GUI as well, but I've done it using SQL and the alter um, statement. Okay. So that concludes the video on foreign key constraints. I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.